General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon vs. McDonnell Douglas F-18 Hornet which one would win in an aerial battle? These two aircraft are among the most dependable and deadly in the U.S. arsenal and have helped win wars, defend ships and redefine the technological prowess that is American innovation. Despite their similarities, the F-16 and F-18 have a number of differences and it's these that'll reveal which aircraft is superior. History of the F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-18 Hornet The General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon, now manufactured by Lockheed Martin, was introduced in 1978. This multi-role, air superiority aircraft costs upwards of $14 million to produce, and its adaptability and speed make it an indispensable fixture of the U.S. Air Force. Over 4,600 have been manufactured since 1973, with a number of countries operating the aircraft through such conflicts as Operation Desert Storm, the 1982 Lebanon War and the Soviet-Afghan War. The McDonnell Douglas F-18 Hornet was introduced in 1983 as America's first all-weather fighter and attack aircraft. Flown by the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps, they're designed to deploy from aircraft carriers and are among the most aerodynamic operated by the U.S. military. Since exported to other countries, the F-18 is favored for its increased weapons-carrying abilities and saw action during the likes of Operation El Dorado Canyon, the war in Afghanistan and the Iraq War. In 1999, the Boeing F-A-18E or F Super Hornet entered service to replace the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. Larger and more advanced than the standard F-18, it's equipped to carry air-to-surface and air-to-air -air missiles, with its primary armament being the M-61 Vulcan. Speed Both the F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-18 are supersonic jets capable of reaching incredible speeds. However, they do differ ever so slightly. The F-16 can reach a top speed of Mach 2 twice the speed of sound. The F-18, on the other hand, can reach Mach 1.7 to 1.8. The aircraft also have different engines for different combat environments. The F-16 is a single-engine aircraft equipped with a Pratt & Whitney F-100PW220 turbofan engine, while the F-18 uses two General Electric F404GE402 turbofan engines. Survivability is greatly affected by the number of engines an aircraft has. If an F-16 loses its lone one, the pilot has no choice but to eject before the fighter nose dives. F-18s, on the other hand, can survive on one engine if the other is lost, enabling the aircraft to safely return back to the aircraft carrier. How maneuverable are these advanced aircraft? Speed and firepower are only half of what makes an aircraft successful in combat. The ability to maneuver through the air, around enemies and obstacles, can make all the difference when pursuing an enemy or outrunning one. The F-16 Fighting Falcon can handle maneuvers up to 9 GS, giving it the ability to quickly change directions at incredible speeds and angles. The F-18 is close behind with 7.5 GS worth of maneuverability. Its thrust-to-weight ratio and dual engines also help make it a powerful opponent in a dogfight. All in all, both the F-16 and F-18 can get the job done. Firepower Air intercept missiles aims, are a key part of combat for modern aircraft, but the F-16 Fighting Falcon originally didn't have any radar-guided missiles. It wasn't until the Block 15 ADF version was released in 1986 that it was able to fire the AIM-7 Sparrow. Other air-to-air -air missiles carried on the F-16 include the Lockheed Martin or Raytheon AIM-9 Sidewinder, MBDA R-550 Magic II, Raytheon AMROM, MBDA Skyflash and Osram, and Raytheon Sparrow. Ordnance is fired from nine different hardpoints and launched using Raytheon LAU-88 launchers, MAU-12 and Origin bomb ejector racks. The port wing contains a 20mm General Electric M61A1 multi-barrel cannon. The F-18 could carry radar-guided missiles from the get-go, as it was designed to replace an attack aircraft and defend aircraft carriers. The same armament equipped by the F-16 is used on the F-18, but additional weapons, like Maverick missiles, 
joint standoff weapons, joint direct attack munitions and paveway laser-guided bombs are also at their pilot's disposal. How do they fare in aerial combat? Combat is where the F-16 Fight Falcon and F-18 Hornet truly take off. As one of their most important roles, an aircraft's ability to engage in heated combat and dogfights isn't just about gadgets or design its life or death. Both are capable of air-to-air, -air, air to ground reconnaissance, and surveillance missions. Several slight differences help define this. The F-18 has a range of 1,253 miles versus the F-16's 1,260 miles. The F-16 has a higher ceiling at 55,000 feet compared to the F-18's 50,000 feet. The F-16 can stay in the air for much longer without refueling. It's also much faster and maneuverable and can withstand higher GS when compared to the F-18. Its smaller size and bubble canopy cockpit giving the aircraft increased visibility, a key factor in determining the outcome of a mission. One study analyzed dogfight victories by looking at the correlation between who was able to get eyes on their targets first and the outcome of the engagement. Typically, whoever first saw their opponent had an immediate advantage and a wider range of visibility combined with a smaller aircraft meant the F-16 would have a better chance of locking eyes first. The F-18 size, however, is handy when it comes to firepower. With 9 hard points for mounting weapons the F-16 only has 6 and the ability to carry more 20mm rounds, the F-18 can be both fast and deadly when put in the proper situations. F-16 vs F-18, which has the better design? Despite its earlier design, the F-16 Fighting Falcon is one of the most cost-effective, efficient and maneuverable aircraft in the US arsenal. Thanks to the development of older aircraft, such as the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle and General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark, the F-16 is equipped with reliable systems that give it a wide combat radius. The F-16 can locate targets, regardless of weather conditions, including low-flying enemy aircraft. It can fly more than 500 miles in an air-to-surface roll and deliver weapons with extreme accuracy, all while defending itself from enemy aircraft. It's also the first to use the relaxed static stability slash fly-by-wire flight control system, giving it increased maneuverability and performance. The cockpit of the aircraft was redesigned to include a bubble canopy, which gives pilots increased visibility throughout the side and rear. A side stick controller was also implemented for better control of the F-16 while performing high-G missions. The controller is equipped with hand pressure sensors that send electrical signals to flight control systems, like rudders and ailerons, allowing for increased instantaneous changes while in a tense combat situation. Onboard avionics systems are equipped with advanced navigation, including enhanced global positioning and inertial navigation systems EGI, that send steering information to the pilot. Counterpressure pods, high-tech radios and instrument landing systems are also integrated into the aircraft. The F-18 Hornet also features a fly-by-wire system, advanced navigation and other similar features. However, one sets it apart. Canted vertical stabilizers allow for the F-18's extremely high angle of attack, giving pilots the ability to perform high-G pull-ups all the Top Gun, 1986. On top of this, it was designed with leading-edge extensions, which allows pilots to remain in control of the aircraft while at high altitudes. The F-18 was also built with the intention of needing reduced maintenance, meaning less downtime is required between missions. Finally, the aircraft was also one of the first to use multifunction displays, which allow pilots to switch between fighter and attack roles, or both, with the push of a button.